Hi, I'm Dave once again, TJN, the Jesus Network. It is time to change the planet and uh, just ran into a couple of real good friends of mine. John and Linda Galloway, and they live in the Dalles, Oregon. I met them in Bend, Oregon, and they have a passionate fire to see people's lives transformed by the power and the presence of God. It, it's all about the presence of God. John, glad to see you again. Good to be here. Yeah, good to see you. So the name of the ministry is what? Revival Fire Northwest. And what are you seeing happen in the Dalles, Oregon? Uh, there's just been all kinds of miracle healings. There's been um, restored passion for Christ, uh, people that were just kind of on the shelf, shelved themselves, uh, come come back alive, start healing the sick. You know, we can't stop talking about what Jesus is doing. Amen. You know, I, I just feel like the day of Pentecost has come again, and and that we're those disciples just being sent forth, and we, you know, people have tried to shut things down, but, you know, God just keeps doing stuff. So what do you do? You just step out and say, okay, God. <laughs> and yet literally hundreds are being healed. Uh, emotional healing, physical healing, uh, you know, pain is going. Uh, people are getting new organs. People are getting uh, metal plates are dissolving in people's necks and backs. And, um, you know, accident trauma victims are, are, are coming, you know, with no healing. They're leaving with healing, wholeness, and a renewed passion for Jesus. Amen. Linda, what are you seeing? Well, when we were preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and in that, in that, people are getting healed just by the preaching of the kingdom, which for them to believe God for them possible, and revival is here, and it's happening even today, and because we believe, we have such passion That's for right. that, and it's, yeah. so the, the gospel is being preached, and they're healing the sick, raising the dead, cleansing the leopard, and casting out demons, and it's it's easy because it's so God and it's so mm. Him, and so we're pointing the people to God, to yeah. Jesus, that He is the way, the truth, and the life, and the Spirit and Word coming together. It's just not mere words, but in power, and that's what we're seeing, and it's and it's fun and it's exciting, and we want to invite everyone to come. <laughs> now it is exciting, and there's a big difference between religion and relationship. Yes. As we talk about what, what does that mean to you? Well, we know that it's this this relationship with Jesus. You know, the the relationship with the Father, and the Father's heart is being released. That He is a good God, and He wants us to um, have life and life more abundantly, and and to walk in that freedom. And out of that relationship, then the relationship with the family and the apostolic, with the fivefold ministry, is that we have a relationship with um, its family, community, and then there's the power of God. You know, and the supernatural lifestyle it's just um, the most exciting thing is what the body of Christ is supposed to be doing from the beginning is this apostolic calling that's on our lives to believe amen John what kind of miracles are you seeing you're seeing some healing miracles yeah well we've uh, we've seen people that couldn't couldn't walk upright um, just mm -hmm. totally their backs get totally restored where where they can move freely like it net like the accident never happened we've yes. uh, We've seen people that, oh, one guy, a truck driver, he couldn't stand for more than uh, 15 minutes. Um, he stood throughout our, his, our whole meeting and he yes. just started praising God again. And he, you know, he couldn't even uh, stand for more than 15 minutes without pain. The pain totally went. His back is totally restored. He, he, he's shocked and amazed at what God did yes. without even anybody touching him. Mm -hmm. And there's these kind of miracles happening where we're not even touch laying hands on anybody and people are getting miraculously healed just by hearing the good news. Now one of the things that I want to talk about is you guys went to Redding, California for a while. Redding, California is where uh, Bethel Church is. Bill Johnson and the crew down there just doing some amazing things talking about revival fire and uh, the outpouring that's occurring in there. And there's a lot of people that just want to go and camp out in Reading because that's where the fire is burning. But what you two have done, I think is a great example, is you went 
to Reading to learn, get the anointing, and so on and so forth, and take it out. In fact, Bill Johnson preaches about that, doesn't he? Yes, and because he doesn't want people to come and live and just stay. He wants it to be sent out. He's this good father that doesn't just want you know, to accumulate people around him. He wants them to go out into all the nations, all to the world, and to, to be able to do what Jesus said. And that bringing the presence of God, well, people are getting healed just in the presence. You know, with the, the worship unto the Lord, and there's many things that are moving in the Spirit. We're just, we're just excited to be a part of it, and um, there's uh, people that are um, interns that are being launched a around the world. So this is this is what the spirit of the you know the Holy Spirit is doing, and these guys have helped us to understand about the kingdom. This is not about being a good Christian, but it's about the authority, intimacy, the legacy that God has given us, and the, and the inheritance that we walk in. If we know who we are, we will go out and do what He said, and there is no fear, but in boldness and courage, and ability to move, to just take what you have received and go and do what the Lord has told you and put in passion. There needs to be a breaking open, a breakthrough, breaking the chains of complacency or that we can't do anything without our pastor doing it or we want a pastor to do it. But God is, this is an all saints revival. This is a four generations yeah. moving together in power <laughs> to do what God has said. We need all four generations to, to run. We need the energy of the younger generation. The, the, the kids are healing the sick because they have such purity in their hearts. Hearts. And it's powerful, as well as the 80 year olds, the 80 year olds that have had a renewed passion. We have many testimonies coming in, where they have this renewed passion uh, of Jesus again, because we've started a fire under them, and, and we believe in them and say, "Do what God's called you to do." Now is the time to dream with God. That it's so important to be begin to believe what God has said in you, said to you directly or through prophecy, to walk out what God has for you. Get a dream partner. Talk about the things that he's planted in your heart and go out and do them take steps every day every week to move forward your goal what is he what is he designed for you to do because he says go to all the nations and preach the gospel one thing that you've really you've kind of answered my next question but I just sense that there's somebody that watching or listening mm -hmm. that maybe they've gone to a conference maybe they've gone to Redding California went back to their small city mm -hmm. where everything is very uh, this is how we've always done it. Yes. There's a very a history of this is how we do church here, and yeah. they brought the revival fire back to a small town in Washington or Oregon or mm -hmm. Idaho, and they're getting discouraged because you know nobody's mm -hmm. catching the vision of the fire. What would you say to those yeah. folks that are just wanting to catch on fire for Jesus and go and light a community on fire, but maybe they're the the only ember in the community that's mm -hmm. burning? Mm. Well, I just declare and proclaim that this is your year of breakthrough. This is the year that you step out of the box and you go for it. That you have the anointing. God has placed the anointing upon you because the person of the Holy Spirit is in you. Right. And this is the year yeah. of breakthrough that you will walk out your God-given destiny. You will speak life into those that are around you. You will, And then you'll call forth and you decree and declare. So I decree and declare over you that you are coming into like-minded people that are in the same place that will stir you stir one another up that you would move forward in your life that you would step forward and take that step one step God will meet you and back you up we owe the the world an encounter with God the presence of God to go before you this is your year this is your hour this is the time for you a fulfillment of time has passed it's time to get going it's time to move forward in your fire in the presence of God you you the the world is waiting for you to take it take a step gather some Small people in a small group and move out in power and wisdom and revelation of what God's placed in you in Jesus name John what would you like to add to the folks oh you know I'm just so I'm getting this thing stirring me up you know you are a forest fire waiting to happen there is a passion in you if you if you're the only one in your church if you're the only one in your city that you know of nobody can put out that fire except for you don't let anybody say that it can't be done. Yes. If God told you to do it, if yes. God is leading you to do it, yes. come alive in Him. Yes. Take risks. Yes. Step out. Lay hands on the yes. sick. Yes. Cast out demons. You know, you are God's yes. example on the earth of what heaven's about. Yes. Heaven's released through yes. you. Yes. Anything's yes. possible if you're just willing to just be a risk taker. Just be that yes. risk taker all the time. Yes. Just take risks. Take risks. Take yeah. risks. Yeah. And go forth and spread Amen. the fire of God. 
chops. Bring heaven to earth. You're the one. Don't let anybody quench your flame. I just command you. I just command the blessings to come upon you and stir you. Be stirred. Be stirred in God. Do go forth and do those things around. And just every God wants to heal everybody. God wants to cast out demons. He wants the uh, diseases to go in people's lives. So don't don't wait for him to say go heal that person. He wants to heal them right now. And you're the one to do it. You're the one. You're the one. Amen. What's the name of your ministry? <laughs> Revival Fire Northwest. Look us up and I'll stir you up. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. John and Linda Galloway, bless you. And may yeah. God continue to bless what yeah. you're doing there and stirring up the embers in Thanks. Columbia River Gorge yeah. and the Dalles, Oregon. Yeah. yeah. Amen. I'm Dave, TJN, the Jesus Network. It is time right now to change the planet.